Plastic wrap is really strong. And to prove how strong it is, I trapped two bodybuilders in my car held shut by only plastic wrap. All right, boys, try to get out of there. So while they're doing that, here's what I got. This is my tree house I built as a kid. Was I a kid in the 1800s? No. This is only 18 years of weather damage, but you see the problem here? It's not made of plastic wrap. So I'm going to build a tree fort much better and stronger than my pathetic past self did. And I'm gonna do it with only plastic wrap. Those guys are still in the car. It's a race! It's a race! <laughs> Yo! So I've got four 1,500 foot rolls of plastic wrap, which gives me about... I'm gonna use the calculator. 6,000 feet. That's over a mile of plastic wrap. But I didn't know if that was gonna be enough, and to be honest, I didn't care. I was gonna do whatever was necessary to prove that I didn't peak in fourth grade. I was going to build the most legendary tree fort and shove it in my past self's face. You, you nerd. Okay, so I'll admit, I had no idea if this was going to work. I'm the kind of guy to just start doing something wrong until I figure it out, which is why I didn't learn how to shave properly until I was 26, so this could have literally taken years. But I had a basic frame for the roof and the floor, and I was just gonna keep going like this until it felt strong enough to hold some weight, and oh God, look how lost I am. This guy has no idea what he's doing. And just like that, he's down a roll. Not exactly as far as I thought I'd be. Now, before I started wrapping up these trees, I tried to run a few tests to see how many layers would hold my weight. <laughs> Overall, pretty comfortable. I don't think it's gonna break. So these tests didn't really tell me much besides the fact that it was going to take many, many layers to hold strong and not stretch to the ground. So I just kept going, pulling the plastic wrap as tight as possible to maximize its strength until I hit my first milestone. So each side can hold my weight, but I don't want to start putting the floor on there because I don't trust this middle part. So I've got to like fill this up. So this design is heavily influenced by my mortal enemy, the spider. I absolutely despise them, but dang, they're good architects. So I was really proud of my progress so far, but I I had some bad news and some worse news. So I'm down another roll of plastic wrap and this is all I have to show for it. So I'm halfway through my supply of plastic wrap and I still need to build the floor, the walls, and the ceiling. Speaking of which, I need to make that ceiling now because I've got some serious rain clouds heading my way. I struggled to beat the rain but ended up having to start my roof over completely to build a stronger frame. But once it was done, it cleared up and the rain is no longer a threat. But I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to put a roof on this fort and this is all I have to show for it. So I think the move is to finish the floor so I have a platform to stand on and then tackle the roof and the walls. Well, this was a total mess and I couldn't think of any efficient way of finishing the floor. I just knew I needed like 20 layers to hold my weight. So I just started wrapping up sections, a little here, a little there, but I ran into a very annoying problem. This roll is just too big for what I'm trying to do right now. I stole this from the house. Let's do this. This smaller roll was letting me get to all those small sections much easier. Needless to say, I was loving it. And just when I got into a groove, no. I had to go back to the big roll until I had whatever the heck this is. It's a little more flexible than I'd like it to be. I think this needs a lot more. Now wrapping up this floor had me regretting my shape of choice. Why did I make this triangular? There was no easy way to wrap this neatly. I was just sporadically running around this thing and I wasn't even close. I've got one more roll of this stuff, but I still have more layers of the floor, the walls, and the ceiling, so I don't think one roll is gonna cut it. And so far, this is not better than my old tree fort. Definitely not. I showed up the next day ready to finish this once and for all. It's currently 25 degrees. It is literally freezing, and this has frost all over it. I knew this was gonna be a long day, so I finished the floor and I gotta build the roof now. But standing on this platform was pretty sketchy. I just knew there had to be a better way. So I just went to the store, I picked up some smaller rolls of plastic wrap and this long paint roller so I could reach the roof from the ground. But of course, plastic wrap doesn't fit on a paint roller. Why would it? So I literally had no choice but to stand on the fort. So we took this piece out of my car that I could stand on to evenly distribute the weight. This works. Oh, forgot the plastic wrap. And now I was on my way to having the most amazing plastic wrap treehouse, even though I was overcome by extreme vertigo the entire time. Whoa. The roof is done, which left one last part. 
the walls. Now, when I started the walls, I quickly realized this wasn't going to work. There were huge gaps between the walls and the edges of the floor and roof. So I tied some plastic wrap ropes from the roof to the floor on each side so I could weave behind the ropes, keeping everything tight and sealed. So with only 100 feet of plastic wrap left to unravel, I was ready to defeat my nemesis and claim my throne as Tree Fort King. Okay, structurally, this thing is done, but before I show you the final product, I wanna trick this thing out. Yo, look at this place. This is actually extremely comfortable. And just like me, this place is sick. I actually have bronchitis. I've got my sleeping bag in here, my Pikachu pillow, and the best part is, I got a Nintendo Switch. This fort was amazing, 100% plastic wrap. Plastic wrap is probably like the strongest thing on the planet, probably. And way better than the one I built as a kid, so boom, in your face, that's all I got.